I'm Lois Schwartzlander, and uh, I met my husband in Houston, Texas while I was in college. We were both college students. We met in 1973 and got married in 1974. I'm Kurt Schwartzlander, and uh, yes, our, uh, our romance is legendary. After we'd been married for two years, we had our first son, Ryan, and he was born in uh, 1976. And, and then two years after that, we had Denny, our second son. And then we moved up to Kansas City, and then we had Janae about four years after that. So she was born in 1982. I was uh, elated. I just, yeah. I jumped up out of my yes. chair and was kind of... You kinda... cried is what you did. <laughs> yeah. You cried. I was just I so that. thrilled to have crying. a daughter. Janae, you were, you were strong. I mean, you were the strongest baby. You were of the three. And you were even stronger than your brothers when you were a baby. Mm -hmm. At three and a half months old, Janae received her first oral polio vaccine, just routine immunizations. Two weeks later, she developed a fever was her first symptom. The diagnosis was uh, vaccine-associated paralytic poliomyelitis. She was quadriplegic. She could not move her arms, her legs, her head. Uh, she lost her voice. She couldn't cry. She couldn't make a sound. The doctors were very puzzled. They asked us lots of questions like, did you drop her? Did she fall? They had a list of possible prognosis, including encephalitis, Guillain-Barre, uh, meningitis, and at the bottom of their list was polio. Janae was in the hospital for three weeks, and it was three weeks after that, the results came back from the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta that the virus that she had was polio virus and that it was from the vaccine. We were stunned that the vaccine that was supposed to keep her from getting polio gave her polio. I mean, that's, it was just, I was stunned. I didn't want to believe this was happening to my girl. To me, it was the loss of her, her future, her running, jumping, playing. Well, I do remember the first day I started kindergarten, and I walked in, and there were kids running around, and I was, they were playing and they had all these toys and uh, there were jump ropes and everything and I was like, wow, that looks like fun. But um, I went over there and I couldn't do any of it. That was when I realized that I was different. Right now we're putting Janae into this, a standing frame. She doesn't particularly like this frame because she has to stand real still. <laughs> Janae is now 14 years old. Uh, she wears leg braces and walks with crutches. She uh, is still paralyzed in both of her legs, although she has sensation, but her muscles are atrophied and uh, useless. Um, when she gets up in the morning, she has to crawl on the floor. She cannot walk without the aid of crutches and braces. Kurt and I both were really naive. We didn't know that much about medicine. Um, nothing, no information offered to me before she got her polio vaccine. Just went into the doctor's office and he squirted it from the little tube into her mouth. And I just remember feeling guilty that I had allowed them to give this vaccine to her. And you know, I remember in the doctor's office scooping some of it off her chin. It had dribbled down her chin and I just kind of, you know, said, come on baby, take this, it's good for you. And it haunts me.